In this video, I'm going to explain the three steps on how to import GPX files into your Ride Command account online via your computer and into your side by side equipped with Ride Command via the USB port. Stick around to the end and learn about the free GPX files we'll be sharing. As always, please show your support by hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to turn on notifications. First is prep work. We'll be sharing all GPX files via the Ride Command platform. Now I've included a link to setting up the Ride Command account in the description below. Make sure you create the account and be signed in before following the next steps. If you're doing this from the Ride Command app instead of your computer, then check out the description below for a link to the video we created that shows how to import GPX files into the Ride Command app. If you use a different GPS app on your tablet instead of the Ride Command platform, then setting up this account will allow you to access the GPX files you'll need to download where you can upload them to the GPS system you use. The steps I'm about to walk you through are accurate as of today. Now if they come out with an update, these could change. So if they don't match your user interface exactly, that would be the reason why. If the update is drastically different, then we'll make an updated video that you can find at trailkings.com looking underneath the Maps tab. Second is how to download the files. After submitting the request to the correct trail link at trailkings.com, you'll receive a personalized access link. Click on the link will auto open the Ride Command website in your default browser on your computer. Once it's done loading, you'll have the option to save the collection on the right of the screen. Click the Save button and this will save the waypoints and routes underneath the Collections tab. Once saved, then you can click the Download button. This will allow you to download the GPX files to your computer so you can transfer them to your side-by-side -side equipped with Ride Command. Third is how to import the GPX files into your Ride Command on your machine. Start off with moving over the GPX files to a USB drive. From my knowledge, all machines equipped with Rideman come up with a USB port so you can update the software and import these types of files. Now you'll need to find that port. On our Turbo S, that port was in the middle storage box underneath the Ride Command screen. And on our Ranger, that port was in the standard glove box. Once you locate the USB port, you'll plug in your USB drive. Once that's plugged in, click the navigation button. Next, you'll click on Rides and Waypoints. Then you'll click on the double arrow on the top right of the screen. You'll want to click on Copy To slash From USB. Next, you'll click on the arrow of the GPX file you want on your ride command. Now, because it's a collection of waypoints and routes, it takes a few minutes to load. Definitely give it time and don't hit that arrow more than once because it will load the trail system maps for each time you hit the arrow. If the routes don't appear after five minutes, then hit the back button and hit the date sort button twice. Once I did that, the maps appeared. The easier way in my opinion to import these files is connecting your machine to the Wi-Fi via your phone's hotspot, which we made a full video on those steps that I will link in the description below. Once the files are fully transferred over, all the waypoints will automatically show, but you will need to click the eye icon on the routes you want visible for your upcoming trip. In conclusion, following these steps will ensure you can import any Ride Command GPX files into your online account and onto your side-by-side -side equipped with Ride Command. Check out the description of this video for links to the free GPX files we have available. Please show your support by hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to turn on notifications. If this video has helped you, then please smash the like button and thank you for watching.